Oh, hey. This is a Sense Energy Monitor. It monitors the electric use in our entire apartment. It does this by hooking up to the breaker panel and then sending signals around and it's supposed to be able to tell us neat things like when's the refrigerator running or when is the microwave on or what's the water heater doing. And that's a really bad description of how Sense works. Sense actually looks at the signal coming into the house and then applies that to a machine learning algorithm or neural network, artificial intelligence. They're all pretty much referring to the same thing. And if you want to know more about that, I'll, I'll link some videos that are pretty good. A feature of neural networks is that they have to be trained, but fortunately Sense has a lot of users. And as more users define products, what they are, Sense becomes more accurate. So the longer you have Sense, the more people use Sense, the better Sense becomes. The folks over at Sense were kind enough to send me this unit for a review. And so I'm just, I'm just excited to unbox it. When I opened up the box, I was greeted with these clever electricity quotes all around the sides of the box. It was kind of a neat little touch on the part of Sense. Inside the box, things were more normal. You had the directions, and then underneath those was the main Sense box. On the end of this, you have a plug for the sensor and power. On the side, you have the antenna plug, and then on the other end, you have some information about it. Further in, we find the main sensor clamps, as well as a power cable, the antenna, and they also even include a little bracket for mounting it. Now that we got this thing unpacked, let's get it installed. To do this, you do have to open up the breaker panel and you're going to have to clip these onto the mains coming into the box. Uh, and you're also gonna be dealing with 220 volts. So Sense recommends that you use a licensed electrician to do this install. So now that the Sense is installed, we need to pull up the app and get this thing set up. So I open the Sense app and hit the Get Started button. They have some terms of service privacy stuff. Just hit Accept, I assume. And yes, I've installed my Sense. So it is scanning, it found it. I'll hit it. Uh, it's connecting to Sense, verifying install, scanning Wi-Fi networks. I select my Wi-Fi network. I put in my password. think maybe if not I have another one okay it's connecting credentials passed that's always good <clears throat> nope and I heard a chime so now I just have to create a, create an account so put in your email Make a password. Uh, let's see here. Okay, re enter your password. And then your time zone, we're good. And you create the account. Okay, it started the signal check and process and it says this will take a day or two. So the power meter, we can see our usage. Um, sure, push notifications. Okay, wow. So here we can see we are using 340 watts and it's going through an automatic signal check, it's installed. That was an incredibly easy setup experience. I cannot believe how easy that was huge props up to, to Sense. You guys nailed it on that. Basically at this point I was told by Sense to let this thing work for 60 days. So first things first, am I as impressed with the Sense as I was on day one? Well yes. I really think the Sense is pretty much the best home energy monitor out there right now. So let's talk about that. And for a little bit of background, we're going to go back in time and see what the past 60 days have been like. After I installed the Sense, it took two days for it to do the initial systems check. It did encounter one issue, but Sense is programmed to automatically fix issues, which is exactly what it did. Once the signal check was complete, it brought up always on power. 
So always on power is an important statistic that tells you how much power your house or apartment is using when pretty much everything is turned off. So the best way I use to describe this is imagine it's nighttime, the middle of the night, all your lights are off, pretty much everything is as quiet as it gets. That's always on power. The always on power is an important number because you might have some energy vampires hiding out in your house and those could be sapping a lot of juice. There's a recent article by Green Tech Media and in that article they say that DVRs, they have a low power mode and it virtually does nothing. So this is a way to examine how efficient are these electronics that you have. My always on power is quite low so I haven't looked into it that much but still it's nice to know that I'm doing good in this area. On day six, Sense detected three devices, a heater, the stove, and the water heater. The stove and water heater were automatically assigned, and the other heater was given a 75% confidence as being the stove. Sense sets this confidence based on historic data of other devices from other users. And as the user base grows and more people name devices, it will become better at detecting devices. To make sure it was a stove, I simply turned the burners on and off and watch that device on Sense. A motor was detected on day eight. I realized by looking at the historic energy use that this device primarily kicked on at night, which was when our bedroom AC unit was running. That's what it ended up being. On day 10, the microwave and another stove burner were detected. And this is where I started using one of my favorite features of Sense, and that's the ability to actually merge devices. Why would you want to merge devices? Well, in the case of the stove, you have four burners. And you don't want to know which burner is on. You want to know, is the stove on? So you can go into the app, go into the settings, and actually merge all the stove burners into one stove. That's a very useful feature. Between days 12 and 28, Sense detected our fridge, dishwasher, a device and motor belonging to our bedroom AC unit, a motor that ended up being in the fridge, and another stove burner. So at this point, I think you can see the value of this merge feature, which allows you to bring many devices within a larger device into just that larger device in Sense. On day 36, our laser printer was detected along with another heating element that Sense thought was part of the dishwasher. It was 74% confident. This all looked good until a day or two later, I was toasting some bread and that device kicked on. So it was the toaster or not because then I turned on the dishwasher and it came on as well. This was really the only issue I've had with Sense during 60 days of testing it. Sense does not offer a way to deal with a situation where it assigns the same device to two devices. I ended up assigning it to the dishwasher because we don't use our toaster that often. The final device within the 60 days was detected on day 43 and that was another motor in the fridge. After 60 days with the Sense, I still highly recommend this device. The user interface both on the mobile app and the web app is super clean and intuitive and it has some really good features like merge. There's also things like power meters and historic energy use and if you put in your electricity price, you can get cost readouts on how much a particular device is going to cost you. It's quite useful and also interesting. One particularly neat feature is on the now page, the front page, you can select the bubble view. And in bubble view, you get these round bubbles that enlarge or shrink based on how much the particular device is using at that moment in time. It's kind of a neat way of visualizing what your home is doing in real time. At this point, I should also mention that Sense integrates with if, uh, if then, if this. <laughs> it also integrates with Amazon Echo, which means you can ask Alexa, Ask Sense how much power my home is using. Your home is using 410 watts. Please consider writing a review for Sense on the Alexa Skill Store. I have sent a card to your Alexa app with instructions. Alexa, I'm making a review. All this is really great, but I found that with startup companies like Sense, the products they make are really only as good as the company behind them. If the company behind them fails, your device fails, and sometimes quite literally if your service gets shut off. 
Fortunately, Sense gives all the right impressions. For instance, just a few weeks back, they rolled out an integration between Sense and Philips Hue light bulbs. Now Sense will detect the Hue bulbs when they turn on and off, as well as how much power they are using, and display this right in the Sense app with everything else. Sense has stated they're working with other smart home companies to roll out integrations with their products. Personally, I'm really excited to start trying out some of these integrations. I just need to get some Philips Hue bulbs first. And so that's my 60 day review of the Sense Energy Monitor. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to redo my 60 days starting tomorrow because we're moving. However, fortunately, Sense makes it very easy and actually fun to do the initial setup as well as the device detection. And I'm really looking forward to that. So you may see another video about this in the future, maybe my second 60 days with Sense. If you're interested in seeing that, you'll wanna hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, that way you get the updates. And if you have any questions on the Sense, please leave them in the comments. I try to respond to every comment and I will get back to you and give you hopefully an answer. And I will see you guys in the next video. That's it.